What's going on everybody? So I figured I'd make this one last video about the Hummer before I uh, send it on its way to uh, do whatever it is that Hummers do. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to recap just about everything that I've done um, and I have a few more things left that I want to accomplish for the car um, and I'll show you guys that too. But starting off, first thing I did was get this thing started. Um, so we had to put a starter in it. After the diagnosis, you can actually see the starter over here. That guy right in there is our brand new starter. But put the starter in, got it to start. Also put a battery in it. Um, I put a blower motor resistor in it to fix that problem. Also put a high output alternator in it. Um, I retrofitted these headlights to fit. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Also put in this new head unit here and routed the backup camera for it. Um, that was a bit involved since the wiring's pretty messy in there, but got that to work. Backup camera functions great. Um, his equalizer is still fully functional in here. I don't approve of that um, just because it splits the pre-out voltage but that's a whole nother thing we won't get into. He likes having the equalizer, so kept it in here for him. Um, I gotta tighten this up, and then I gotta put on the panel down there where I changed the blower motor resistor. Um, but those are the only two things that I gotta tidy up there. Uh, that's basically all I did up front, and then in the back, I hooked up these amplifiers down here, one on this side, and one on the other side as well. I'll pull this up so you can see. There's one, the other one and the DVD player that I hooked up. Um, so yeah, here's our wiring. Did uh, did this previous time here, but there's all sorts of uh, wires in there. It's a big junction block, because it's got zero gauge wire. It's actually one zero gauge, not just regular zero, so it's really thick. And then we split it off into three power wires like that. And then the grounds are all made on the seat bolts. Really solid grounds, but yeah, so did that. Um, I also rewired the subwoofers with a, some 8 gauge wiring because they were very underwired. So let me thicken the wire up. I switched this amplifier to powering the door speakers um, and I rewired this subwoofer as well. So that's pretty much oh and uh, here's the backup camera. Right there, I still have to glue that on. I'm gonna clean it first and then uh, there's like some 3M adhesive on it and I'll try to aim it as best as I can. Um, I also undercoated the entire car. That's another thing that I did. I don't know if you can tell. It's best to see it up front. You can see the frame is uh, kind of shiny and this stuff is called fluid film. So it's like a, it's almost like WD-40 but it sticks really good and doesn't come off. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that works for him. And that's pretty much it. That's gonna wrap it all up with the Hummer here. I'll uh, maybe show you guys a few clips of the sound system playing uh, and the subs flexing or something like that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up these odds and ends like tightening the uh, shifter as well as that panel and uh, the backup camera as well. I'm just gonna glue that on. So yeah, we'll... Uh, throw a few clips in here of uh, some of this stuff but this is gonna be about it for the Hummer so we are inside the Hummer currently I'm gonna start it up this thing starts really good now with that new battery it's a, a thousand cranking amps which is a lot so car starts right up no problems at all head unit fires up um, we'll let this thing load up here and yeah, everything works. Blower motor now works. I'm sure you can hear it. Yep, it's on. And uh, it also turns off as well, which is nice. It didn't used to turn off. Um, but yeah, I'll throw it in reverse. You guys can see the uh, backup camera here as it initializes. Look at that. You can see nicely behind you pretty nice got the lines and everything but tighten this guy up so that's all nice and affixed let me see if I can play something here 
the door speakers sound much better. Um, I tune them so that they won't play anything below like, it could be like 100 hertz because these are really old speakers and they're pretty shot. This is the only way to get them to give us any actual volume because the bass is pretty overpowering in this setup here. But if I turn it up a little bit. subs hit pretty hard it's uh sounds pretty good it's a lot of bass but that's uh that is what he wants so so yeah these subs sound pretty good um they definitely jam it's a lot of bass but that's definitely what he wants so yeah got that backup camera all glued on there looking good um i don't know if i showed this light here the amp actually has a light and then there's a another little light in there so this whole thing glows at night it looks pretty cool but yeah I think that's gonna be just about it for the Hummer guys probably gonna get rid of this thing this week or next week it's gonna get out of my driveway uh, it's a little sad to see it go it's always a long process working on it but rewarding when it actually comes out nice last time I worked on this car I was not too satisfied with uh, how the sound system ended up working out. It just didn't sound very good to me. Um, and I think it was because of a lack of power to the door speakers and to the subwoofers. Everything was severely underpowered. So we got a little bit more power going to everything now and uh, it actually woke it up a little bit. So adequately power your stuff because it definitely makes a difference. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, hopefully you don't mind a short one. But yeah, this is the uh, final send off of the Hummer. So say your goodbyes. I'm gonna say mine. This thing's been here for over a month, but it's uh, it's gonna get out of here pretty soon.